Good morning, my name is Ryan. I'm an educator here at the Kansas City Zoo. And today we're in our library looking at different kinds of horns. Now I've got a few different kinds here in front of me on the table. And today we're gonna to look at how different horns and different animals are both made differently and are used in different ways by them to survive out in the wild. Let's get started. So over here, we have a giraffe skull. Now we know giraffes, they're really tall. They look really cool or weird, depending on how you feel about them. But today we're looking at their ossicones. That's the actual name you give for a giraffe's horns. So when giraffes are first born, their horns are actually soft because they're made of cartilage, the same stuff our ears and nose are made out of. But as they mature, their horns start to grow harder or ossify into a really, into bony structure. And you can see that their skull is a lot smoother than the horns, which have all these little projections on them. Though one of the main uses giraffes have for their horns or ossicones is a process called necking. When giraffes get into the mating season, the males will size each other up and they'll start fighting each other. And that often involves swinging their necks and heads at each other to kind of show who's stronger. And these horns help add a little bit of extra weight to their heads. And this can even be fatal in some giraffe fights. So these horns are really important for giraffes to show who's the bigger boss out there on the savanna. All right, now let's move on to antelopes. So here in the middle of our display, we have a lot of different kinds of antelope horns. Uh, you can see some are pretty small, some are pretty long, and they also come in really smooth or really curvy types. And these are all adaptations for the different ways these antelopes live. Uh, some antelopes mainly use their horns for uh, digging in the ground. Others might use them for mating displays. Uh, like, like we're used to seeing with deer locking horns in the mating season, different antelopes might do that as well with their horns. But for some antelopes, they use their horns for defense against predators. And those long horns are a deterrence to predators who might think it better to just leave them alone rather than risk getting injured or possibly killed by that, by that force of big spiky shields protecting those little baby antelopes. So if you look closely at a at an antelope's horns, you can see that they actually have bone on the inside of the horn, at least for part of the ways. But on top of that bone is where you actually get this keratin sheath that grows into these really cool different designs, going from maybe even like rib to smooth, or just whatever uh, design fits that animal's habitat and what it needs. Finally, we have rhino horns. Now rhino horns are different from both giraffes and antelopes in that there is no bone involved in the horn. Instead, the horn is completely made of keratin. So again, the same stuff that your fingernails are made of, that is what this whole horn is made of. Depending on the rhino species, their horn can be just a foot long to well over three feet long. And they also get a lot of different uses out of their horns. For some rhinos, they might use their horns to dig in the ground to find roots to eat. For others, they might clear away brush if they live in more forested areas. But the biggest use for rhino horns that we all know about is defense. Rhinos are huge animals, and with that huge horn on the front of their head, they can deter a lot of predators from ever coming near them. But if a rhino is spooked by something, they will charge. Rhinos can reach pretty high speeds, and when you have that much mass of a rhino behind a horn, it is a very intimidating weapon, and most animals know not to mess with a rhino. So, thank you for joining us here at the Kansas City Zoo and looking at our horn collection. Hope you're uh, staying safe and practicing good social distancing. And uh, keep looking at our social media here at the Kansas City Zoo for more cool videos about the animals we have. Thank you.